The other thing I wanted to show you is removing the um, clutch cover. In um, stock form, you have to remove the seat bracket, which involves removing half of the driver's side of the machine. I've ground down my bracket, ground down some areas of the CVT cover, and I've modified my rear um, driver's side passenger um, footwell, so that can be removed a lot easier. And I'll show, I already have a thread on it on um, Wolverine forums. I have removed my uh, oil reservoir. I've already removed my bolts. These two zip ties holding the radiator in place, radiator hose in place. Um, if you undo those and slip the radiator out, radiator hose uh, out, it'll give you make it a lot easier. I've already removed my bolts, so hopefully I can get this. Uh, demonstrate how to get this out with my mods. So, the key is to slide it out and rotate this piece up. And there you have it. You know, it takes a little muscle memory to remember where it's, um, you know, getting, uh, where to rotate it and get past these, these, uh, these ribs here. But you can see how easy that was with my modifications. And if you're out in the field and you blow a belt, it's going to be a lot easier to change it out with my modifications versus doing it stock. So that's removing my, uh, CVT cover on the Yamaha Wolverine X4 with from simple grinding.